गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल सुबह सार्स क्लासेस इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट कन्सेंट्रेशन यूनिट आफ्टर नॉर्मेलिटी वी आर डीलिंग उथ मोल फ्रैक्शन व्हाट इज मोल फ्रैक्शन इट इज द फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द मोल्स प्रेजेंट इन ए सॉल्यूशन व्हिच कंटेन सम मोल्स इन एवरी सॉल्यूशन देर आर टू पार्ट्स द सल्यूट पार्ट एंड द सल्वेंट पार्ट एंड द फॉर्म ए सल्यूशन Suppose we have three moles of solute dissolved with seven moles of solvent to produce a ten moles of solution. So what is the what is the per, the uh, ratio in which solute and solvent are present in the solution? Clearly, one is three upon ten, the other is seven upon ten, and when you add them up, you get one. Three plus seven by ten is ten upon ten. Or one, so this part is called the mole fraction of solute. Say, if this is A, this is B, then this will be called X A, and this will be X B, and sum of these two is one. So there is a general formula of mole fraction: fraction of the fra mole fraction of solute plus mole fraction of the uh, solvent is one. Why? Because we have three upon 10 plus 7 upon 10 is 10 upon 10. This is the solution fraction. 100 in 100, 10 in 10, 10 moles of solution in 10 moles of solution. But in case of solute, 3 moles of them are present in the 10 moles. In case of solvent, 7 moles of them are present in solution, 10 moles. So 7 in 10 is 7 upon 10. 3 in 10 is 3 upon 10. And when we add, we get 1. So this is a simple concept. Mole fraction. So, if you say, suppose uh, 180 gram of water dissolves 365 gram of hydrochloric acid, find the mole fractions. So first we take a graphical thing. Graphically, say let A is the solute. Here it is HCl. B be the solvent. Here water. And as you know, the mass of water here is 180 grams. And hydrochloric acid in the previous discussions we had studied the hydrogen and cl chlorine this is one this is 35.5 so in all this is 36.5 so molecular mass of solute is generally 36.5 and here we have 365 grams so let us find the both the number of moles if n1 moles Of a dissolved, are dissolved, are dissolved in n two moles of B. Then here n one each moles of a means moles of solute HCl. So this is 365 grams divided by 36.5. Here it is actual mass, and this is molecular mass. So when we divide, we get 10, 10 moles. And in case of the solvent, we have N2. So number of moles of solvent is N2. Actual mass is here 180 grams. And divided by the molecular mass of water. What is molecular mass of water? There are two hydrogens and one oxygen. So two into one plus one oxygen is sixteen. So eighteen. So this is eighteen grams. This is actual mass and this is molecular mass. So when we divide, we get ten moles again. So clearly, here n one is ten moles, n two is ten moles. So 
total number of moles in solution n1 plus n2 is 20 moles so now mole fraction of a is n1 upon n1 plus n2 which is 10 upon 10 plus 10 or 10 by 20 which is 1 by 2 similarly x b the mole fraction of the solvent will be n2 upon n1 plus n2 which is 10 upon 20 so this is also 1 by 2 clearly we have seen here that uh, when we add the two mole fractions the first mole fraction is 1 upon 2 and the second mole fraction is it is also 1 by 2 so what will be the sum x a plus x b this is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 so we have also proved that sum of the two mole fractions be always becomes 1 and with this we conclude this class and here mole fraction is over in the next class we are going for parts per million or parts per billion thank you for watching bye Thank you.